first step to utilize Deadline is to map a network drive. Hold the Alt key down. It'll open up the map network drive option. The drive you want to map is the repository PC, and that you'll need to type in as is shown. And you'll have to type in the entire path, which includes the subfolder Deadline Repository. Once you've mapped that, you'll see a series of subfolders within the repository. The only two folders that you need to be concerned with are the input and output folders. Input is where you will place your file to be rendered as well as any support texture maps. Within those input and output folders you will need to create a new folder with your Andrew ID. And you'll do that for both the input and the output folder. This will ensure that uh, your files are not inadvertently erased by another user. Once you have that done, the other thing that you want to do is uh, in the input folder, perhaps to just keep things organized within your Andrew ID, create another folder for texture maps. And you could presumably build up the number of texture maps in that folder as you use the software more and more. So we're going to go ahead and open up Rhino. I have a sample file that we'll use for rendering purposes. And there's a few things that you'll need to take into account when rendering um, the render farm. The most important of which is uh, how you deal with texture maps that are custom. And basically what you'll need to do is place those custom texture maps in your input folder and I put them inside my maps folder within my Andrew ID input folder. Once you have done that, you will need to go and update the paths for all of the texture maps in your scene. Depending upon the number of texture maps, this may take a little while, but it's imperative that you do this, otherwise when you render, it will not use any of the texture maps. So basically what I'm doing is just browsing and uh, choosing or updating the texture map path to reflect my uh, folder on the repository PC. Once I've done that, I can update to ensure that it's properly reading that path, and I can update my render preview, and, and we can see that that's working. Another way to confirm that it's working correctly is to change your viewport mode to render it, and you'll see in the case of this scene, the concrete texture shows up properly. Uh, and you can always do a small-scale rendering on your client computer to, again, confirm that the texture mapping is working correctly. Once I've gotten that squared away, I'm going to go ahead and save my file, my Rhino file, again, in the input folder within my Andrew ID. It's important that you save it there uh, so that the render form can see it when it has to distribute the rendering. Within the Rhino interface, you'll see a deadline button on the uh, top horizontal uh, toolbar. When you click it, it will open up a subsequent window with a series of options. We ask that within the comment, you add your Andrew ID. The job name is self-explanatory. Most of the other settings you don't need to adjust. The most important things are uh, telling the render farm where your file is. So under Rhino file, we're basically typing in the path and you need to type it in, you can't browse. Uh, you have to type in the path, again, for the deadline repository, input folder, into your Andrew ID, and then we'll choose the Rhino file that you're working with. The same holds true for the output path. Again, we have to type it in. We can't browse repository PC. And you'll see here it does do auto-completion. Um, and then we're going to browse to the output folder. And again, browse to the uh, appropriate Andrew ID folder that you've made for yourself. And then lastly, for output, you'll type in the name of the file. 
and then if you do click on the buttons to browse it'll let you choose the file type you want to save as. The default is a bitmap but you can choose a TIFF uh, or a JPEG. It does not let you change the quality settings of the JPEG. And then lastly you want to change your renderer uh, to either V-Ray or the Rhino renderer. It has other renderers listed uh, the only ones available on the render farm are V-Ray or the standard Rhino renderer. Once you've done all that, you can hit the Submit button. It'll confirm that it's uploaded the file to the render farm. It'll show you the path of the Rhino file. You can hit OK, close out the deadline submission window, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and run the deadline monitor, and we can just type that in and what the deadline monitor does is it provides us with uh, an interface to view the status of the render farm, uh, any renderings that are currently underway, as well as to check on the status of the renderings that you've submitted. You can see in the case of the rendering that we just uploaded to the render farm, it's been assigned to render PC5. Uh, it's currently rendering. By default, everyone using the render farm has uh, a default user account called render student. Um, we're going to leave it like that so you will not make individual accounts on the render farm. They'll all be render student. And basically uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It'll keep rendering here until it's complete. Once it's complete you can right click on your file and there's a few options that show up. Uh, you can explore the output path where it will then take you into the output folder and we can then see the files that have been rendered out. Uh, in the case of this one it's rendered an alpha channel as well as the standard bitmap image or the JPEG image. And uh, then we could go ahead and copy them off of that output folder and put them wherever we'd like. Uh, you can also, once your job is complete, to just right click and delete it. It will automatically be, de all jobs will be deleted after five days in order to keep things clean. And you can also modify the properties of your rendering if for some reason you submitted it with the Rhino renderer instead of the V-Ray. You can change that by right clicking on the file that you've uploaded and choosing modify properties. So it's, um, fairly self-explanatory and uh, we currently have 10 PCs that are set up for rendering purposes and we do ask that when you're done just go ahead and delete your file. This will only delete the Rhino file, it will not delete the JPEG. Once the file has been uploaded to the render farm, um, you can go ahead and close out of Rhino, you can shut down or exit out or log out of the computer um, and there's no need to keep tabs on the rendering process through the monitor. It's basically completely automatic at that point. You can log into any computer and open deadline monitor and check on the status of your rendering but uh, once the file has been uploaded to the render farm uh, there's no need to keep Rhino open. And that is deadline rendering.